For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do these two problems at the same time where we have these tongues that are used to grip the ends of a drilling pipe P. So they want you to find the moment that the applied force F exerts on the pipe about P as a function of theta. And for the second problem, they want you to find out basically what the force has to be to create this moment. So I'm going to do them at the same time. So here's P. And you know that to find the moment, first you need to find this position vector. Let's call this point A. So basically what you got to do to find the moment that F creates about P, you got to do the cross product of the position vector from P to A cross the Cartesian vector form of F. So you're given these distances that gives you basically PA. So I basically chose my y-axis to be right here and my x-axis to be right there. So PA is going to be 3.58 in the i plus 0.5 in the j. If you're wondering where I got those numbers, basically you know that 43 inches is 3.58 feet and 0.6 inches is equal to 0.5 feet. I converted it to feet because foot pounds is a much common unit for than uh, pounds per inch. So now that we got PA, we need to find the Cartesian vector form of F. Now you know that F has an X component and a Y component. Now just look at it. This will be the y component and this will be the x component and you have theta right here so the x component is equal to the magnitude of f which is 150 times the sine of theta however this is negative because I chose my positive x axis to be aiming to the left the y is positive though, and it sits at f cosine of theta. So the Cartesian vector form of f is negative f sine of theta i plus f cosine of theta j. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to do the cross product to find the moment about f, I mean the moment about p that f creates. So let me go here so I have space. The moment that f creates about p is given by the cross product of pa and the Cartesian vector form of f and you find it by doing the i, j, k. On the top you put the pa which will be 3.58 0.5 and 0 and at the bottom you put the Cartesian vector form of f which is negative f sine of theta f sine of theta and 0 so what you do is you rewrite your 3.58 negative f sine of theta j 0.5 f cosine of theta and this is cosine and you do your positive diagonals and you get i times 0.5 times 0 is 0 j times 0 times negative f sine of theta is 0 k times 3.58 times f cosine of theta is 3.58 f cosine of 
theta decay now your negative diagonals which is this diagonal this diagonal and this diagonal so negative f sine of theta times 0 0.5 times k times negative because it's a negative diagonal will be positive 0.5 f sine of theta k f cosine of theta times 0 times psi is 0 0 times 3.58 times j is 0 so you get that the moment I'm going to write it up here comes out to be 3.58f cosine of theta plus 0.5f sine of theta in the k foot pounds so to find the function as in terms of theta all you gotta do is plug in f into this formula and you get that it is equal to 537 cosine of theta plus 75 sine of theta in the k foot pounds so this is the answer for the first one all I did is plug in this 150 pounds into here and here and you get the formula in terms of theta now for the second part they want you to find the force needed to to create a moment of 800 pounds so you know that 800 pounds uh, pounds per foot is the moment created and it is equal to 3.58 f cosine of theta and they give you theta to be 30 so cosine of 30 this is an f plus 0.5 f sine of 30 so when you solve for f basically you factor f out then you calculate what you got left and you divide it 100 by what you calculated to solve for f and f comes out to be 238.77 pounds final answer for the second part and this is the final answer for the first part which they want a formula for the moment in terms of theta please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help Thank you.